you might be able to jump into the market with these extremely low interest rates and go pick yourself up a really good deal. What is up friends and family? How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing amazing. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on the real estate market update because we have so many things going on right now and maybe you're interested in what the real estate market on Long Island is doing right now. Maybe you're not. Maybe you just don't care at all. But no problem, you could just skip this video, but if you are remotely interested, just stick around real quick and I'll give you a really fast update on what's going on. So this is fresh off the press. This is Long Island Board of Realtors report for April. Now April was a big month for the indicators of what was going on with the market because as we know, the pandemic started in March, then we had a full month in April to really understand what was actually going on with the effect from the coronavirus on the market. So here we go. In April 2020, the closed median home price prices for Long Island, that includes Nassau, Suffolk, and Queens, rose to $496,000. That's up 9% from April 2019. So year over year, we're up 9%. Then it goes on to kind of talk about that sales activity has dropped sharply during the month of April, which is expected. So not as many homes are selling because people simply can't go out and look at homes. And there's a lot of people who aren't in the market right now because there's too many variables, there's too many question marks. Understandable. In April of 2020, Nassau County reported a closed median home price of $562,500. And that's up by 11.4% year over year from 2019, which is incredible. That's a really good number. Home prices are going up. We haven't seen them really decline at all. Suffolk County reported a closed median home price of $405,000, which represents an 11.8% increase year over year from 2019. That is a massive increase year over year. Queens saw a closed median home price of $652,000, representing an increase of 16.5% from 2019. Now 16.5%, that is a massive increase as well. Always good to see that home prices are going up. Now here's another big point in here. The total number of available residential listings in April 2020 on the MLS, which is the Multiple Listing Service, was 13,875, which for you, that doesn't really matter. That represents a decrease of 21% over last year. So what does that mean for you guys? In plain English, that means that there's a lot less listings on the market right now because people either took them off the market or are waiting because they want to see what's going to happen and they don't think that they want people in their house. So there's not a lot of listings on the market compared to last year. April is usually a big month that people start to list their homes. This is springtime. This is when people actually start listing their homes and people can move during the warm weather. Now, I want to get into a little bit more localized because I know a lot of the audience on here is actually from Long Beach and the Barrier Island area. So I pulled those stats up too and I want to just quickly run those off for you guys too so you can get an idea of what is happening. So the number of properties sold, that includes single family, small multifamily, so two to four unit properties, condos and co-ops in the Barrier Island, so Long Beach, Lido, Atlantic Beach, Point Lookout, East Atlantic Beach, um, we saw the number of houses sold in April 2020, that was this past, past month, there was 20 sold properties. Compared to last year, April 2019, there were 40. That represents a 50% decline in closings. Now, that's a massive decline. Obviously, we understand why that's going on. I'm just bringing you guys the facts right now. The average price increased by 17.7%. That's the average closed home price. So a 17% increase year over year from last year, and that represents $654,000 average closed home price versus a $555,000 closed home price last year. Now, another interesting and important statistic that I pulled was the absorption time for the properties on the Barrier Island. Now, the absorption time shows how many months it will take for the current listings to go under contract or be absorbed. So if you see that the absorption number is very low, that basically just means that it will take very little time for the current inventory to go under contract. So in other words, things are selling very quick and there's not a lot of inventory on the market to catch up with the demand. Now, if you see that the absorption time is going up, the higher it gets, that's showing it's more of a buyer's market. There's not much demand and the listings are sitting there for longer and longer and they're not getting sold this fast. So the absorption time for the Long Beach Barrier Island market analysis was 5.8 months back in April of 2019. Now in April 2020, which was last month, this number jumped by 64% to 
eight months, which is a tremendous increase. So now why did this happen? The rate of things that are going under contract and getting closed decreased while the inventory remained pretty much the same. You can see that the ratio would get bigger and bigger. The rate of things going under contract is greatly going down last month. That's not saying this month, it's just last month compared to April of 2019. So what does this mean for you guys? How can this benefit you guys? Well, if you're a seller right now, odds are that you're sitting on the market for a little longer than you would like to. However, the prices are not dropping. If someone is telling you to drop your prices, odds are that's not a very good idea right now because prices are remaining high throughout. And there's a lot less competition now because things aren't getting put on the market. So less competition means you can kind of keep your prices higher. Now, if you're a buyer looking for a property, you might be able to get a great deal right now on homes where people are more motivated to sell and they might drop their prices because they just need to get things off the market. They need to move. They have plans and they can't sit and wait around for things to kind of level out and the pandemic to go away. You might be able to jump into the market with these extremely low interest rates and go pick yourself up a really good deal. So guys, that was just a quick market analysis. I wanted to get this out here quick because that was fresh off the press and I wanted to get the information to you guys as fast as possible. If you have any questions whatsoever about real estate or anything, just give me a call. My name is Jordan Bachner. I'm with Petrie Real Estate down in Long Beach. Go follow me on Instagram and go follow me on my Facebook business page and I'll see you guys in the next video.